Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Wait. <laughs> Walk on. <laughs> How you doing now? I'm good. Hey man, so hey man, we got us a, a special guest here. I, you know, I know I'm old when I when I deal with him because the dance technique he uses, I can't even. I'm, I don't know. I can't move like that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I want to, but I can't, man. Little Earl, what's up, baby? What's good, man. Say, man, we happy to have you, man. I appreciate it for having me, man. So, man, uh, you are really, really. Killing it right now when it come down to just when I look at your impact on Instagram, when I look at your impact on YouTube, um, you know, we got to find out about this guy. Where did he come from? <laughs> Who is Lil Earl? Who is Lil Earl? Man, just a kid that want to be at the top, man. Don't play no games. Really turn in real life. In real life? In real life. Really so, turn so in real life. So what, what caused you? Was it the dancing came first or the music? The dancing. The dancing came first. Yeah. And when you started to dance, how old were you when you knew that, okay, this I'm, I got some here? I always been dancing my whole life, but I ain't just ever make my first video till I was like 19, 20, actually. I ain't make my first video on social media till I was 20. Really? Yeah. So, 20, which ain't been long ago because you look like you about mm. 16 now. Nigga, hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, right? Like, exactly. He's like, he, he throwing these numbers at me. I'm like, damn, that wasn't but last year. Right? <laughs> no, I was two years ago. I'm 22 now. Are you serious, man? You look good, man. You look Appreciate good, it, man. man. Yeah. So, man, who managing you, man? Q Smith on the beat. Okay. You better tell that nigga don't mess up, nigga. I'll come on there and get you QC on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, you, he, got him a, he got something special going on with you. So uh, I know you want to ask him about how, did he grow up in a single parent yes. house? Did he grow up in Hello. a Hello. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you asked the question, I listen. So, um tell me how was it growing up? Crazy, man. Really I'm really a foster kid. Wow. Bounce house to house and I end up getting adopted at a young age though. Probably like how old? 2 years old. Do you know who your parents were? Not my not my original parents, nah, but I as far as my who adopted me, that's who I rock with. Because how does that work? Like, do you have like paperwork that you can go back and find out who your parents yeah, are? Yeah, but it was some people have different situations. My situation was where like I couldn't go back because it was just like, let me tell you what happened. Yeah, she, my mom was on drugs and she jumped off the freeway. Okay, not with me inside, but with my sister inside. Wow, and that was like more so to the state to where it was just child endangerment. We couldn't really go back. So how did she, old she, were did you she when it? that happened? Yeah, yeah, she she still makes. She's still living. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So that's that's mental health, man. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, but did how she did recover? You, yeah, she recovered. And I'm talking sister. from off of drugs and everything else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She still, you know how. how. Have you have you have you? I don't contact. I don't got in social media. She don't seen what I was doing and actually f end up finding me on Facebook. That's crazy. And she reached out. Yeah. A couple okay. years back. And she w said, I'm your mom? Yeah. And, and you what like, did you say? You know, I just, I, I don't know. I How don't, did you feel? Really, <laughs> what did you re respond? I really, I'm really, like, I'm a nonchalant type of person. So, like, I I was just like, hey, I've been good. You know, regular conversation, mm -hmm. just catching up on life, stuff like that. That's good. So you have a sister. Are you in contact with your sister? Yeah, I have a sister. I actually live with my sister. And one of my sisters passed due to really probably from that situation. She was crippled, so. Oh, after because that. of the because, yeah, because of jumping, of yeah, she passed. Wow, that's crazy, man! You you had a that's a heck of a story. You got to write a book, son. Mm. I really do. No, no, real talk. Like that that's that's not normal. You know, like that's something that's incredibly different than 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 most people growing up. Nobody's talk. No, that story is something else, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta harness that. You gotta also, like I said, to write a, write get get something done to where people can see your story and can say, hey, man. If he making it, I can make it. Because somebody not else out real. there probably going through something similar to what you have been through. Believe it or not. Believe it. 
So where did you know where your dad about your dad? Yeah, I live actually I live with my dad throughout this. Oh, so your biological father. Yeah, I okay. actually live with. I don't really. We don't really. So how did you get back in contact with him? Because you said you were an adopted. My brother, my brother stays with my dad. And then they found you. Nah, it was like my brother. He stayed. My brother and my sister. They stayed with my dad. Mm-hmm. And me and my other sister, we stayed with our adopted mom. Okay. So it was like he got custody of them two, and we was. So he al- he always knew where you were yeah, in yeah. foster care. That's what I was trying to see. Yeah, if yeah. when they when they give you the foster care, do they just lose contact with you? Oh, you get you get where? visitation. You get okay, visitation. Okay, so, okay, yeah. okay. So how important is it to break that chain of discon- dysfunctionality? I'll call it to, my to where yeah to where you now. How important is to you to men? And how important is family? That would be the question. Family is important. You see what I'm saying? No cap. It, it gotta be. Important. But it it really didn't hit me as hard because I was young. So correct. Two years old. I'm I'm off rip thinking this is my real mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and she yeah. treated you real good and everything like yeah. that. Which you're blessed because you see kids jumping from foster home to foster, foster home, home, going through terrible situations. So I don't count know. your blessings where that is concerned. Yeah, actually, my mom was a foster parent, so we had kids come in. Different situations, living with us. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So let's talk about the music a little bit, man. So when you when you what's the process like? How did you? Okay, I'm dancing now. I'm about to start rapping. Yeah, really. How does the, that happen? The pandemic when COVID first hit, you know everything was shut down. I had me locked in. I ain't had no job. I was just in the house, dancing, making trillers. Every day, and then I was like, "Bro, I got I wasn't making no money off of it. I was like, "Dang, I got to get to it." So I just end up making a song. My first song was a hit. Put me changed my life. Changed my life. Put me in a whole different situation. It did. And and who helped you come up with that whole song? Really, just me. But my boy, oh, uh, call me money. He on the song. He in the navy right now. Shout out to money. What was the first song? Uh, she gonna enter and old oh boy Prince. Nah, shout out to old oh boy Prince. He, he, he be hustling hard. That's my guy. Shout out to my boy. Oh, I here. need to go I online so he can see. I see <laughs> He's been on here a couple lie. of times. If it wasn't if it wasn't for old oh boy, I wouldn't even be making music because I just had the song jumping on TikTok at the time, but it wasn't on streaming platforms. I ain't know nothing about he it. He's sharp about it. Prince hit me up. Yo, what you doing? You got You not gonna drop the song? I'm I'm confused. Did you know him? Nope. Didn't know him at all. I just knew he stanky leg, stuff like and that. You didn't, but you never knew. I just never knew. You never him. had met him. How did he never get your mind. number? He he actually oh, he, 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 on, he DM'd Instagram. you. Yeah, and I gave him my number. And and then he said, You what you doing? We what got you, you got a word. So he reached out to you? Yeah, he reached he reached out to me through He's Instagram. seen it. And that's old boy Prince, right? Yeah, old boy okay. Prince. Mm-hmm. You were jumping, but you didn't know what to do with it. I didn't. That's God. No, nah, for real. That's God. Because I love all of his videos. Man, he be going in hard in all his videos with all the dancing and stuff, and he be sharing, he be promoting. Yeah, Prince doing his thing. I was with him last night. Okay, where y'all was? We was at uh Turkey Down with uh, DJ Papa Ron. Okay, and he was with this little group, Click Full of Stars, C4S. That's good. That's good. It's like a, he he told me he has some R and B artists now. <laughs> yeah, 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 KP. Yeah, he got a go. Yeah, he got some. Yeah, some man. Room. Well, I hate man. I'm I'm so glad because you 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 next. You for to be next, man. For real. You for try. What you what you trying to do with this whole thing? This whole newfound fame. This whole newfound. Uh, 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 this you talented. What are you gonna do with the talent that God has given you now to help take it to the next level? Go crazy. Just do some. I'm really just trying to put on for my city. Really, that's all it is. Just trying to put on for my city and help my family out. The 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 I think the uh, the city has the boogie movement and all that. Yeah. This is this legacy has already been here. So for you to be in that lane right now, I think it's something that it fits. Yeah, and I think if you really take it and harness it, it could become something great. It's been gone for too long, man. Somebody got to bring it back. The yeah, Atlas Boogie. Oh, you killing? It. I see you. You ain't trying to hear it, man. Not trying. To. The moves is just something else, like it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> natural. So you just you just enjoy dancing, man. Yeah, that's just. Dancing gonna be always be there. I may st- I don't plan on stopping music, but if music stop, dancing always gonna be there. That's just in my body. That's just me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So dancing, just like music. Mm-hmm. I, since I've started this, I didn't realize how much power is in this microphone. I'm telling you, you can, you can heal, you can hurt, you can cry. I mean, like 
people say things, you know, fr freedom of speech. But freedom of speech, sometimes people don't always watch what they say and it can hurt. It start beefs, but it can also motivate. It can also inspire. That's why a lot of times they always say words are powerful. You have to watch what you say and try to use it to uplift people instead of actually bring them down. And even just like dancing, I can be at home and I'm being in a bad mood or whatever, but turn some music on and start dancing and my mood instantly changes. So I'm telling you, dancing is a therapy. People mm -hmm. even use it for people who are mentally challenged because even sometimes you might not can speak properly, yeah. but through that music, it just it, it it's therapy. Yeah, yeah, different. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with that one hundred percent, girl. You you said that, and uh, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I can't wait to see the next level, man. So how is the process with you? Do you write or do you punch in? Or? Yeah, I I be in the studio. I don't write the song before I come in the studio. I be in the studio, we make the beat, I scratch, and I, whatever come to my head, put it in my notes on my phone, and I get on that mic and go crazy, we put it together. Yeah, yeah, so you know anytime you drop a new projects, you you gotta come on Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Um, what, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here. Big man, boss. shout out to Seco P, man, and, and Mark and those guys, man, for even uh, throwing me the alley hoop and, and, and getting you, you know, to come on the show, man. Yeah, nah, um, they say, man, uh, they say, hey, man, Lil Earl got to come mm -hmm. on the show. He and how many come. songs he got on TikTok that's hitting right now? How many you got? I, don't I, got, I done had three hits, so I'm three for five right now. Three, three for five. Three for yeah. five, he ain't playing with What's him. the secret to that? Some people can't even do one hit on TikTok. It's a dancing, What's the man. secret? I just say I found the algorithm of, like, what people want to hear on TikTok. Mm -hmm. like, you just, I don't know, anything can go viral on TikTok, but music-wise, I don't know, you just got to have that ear of what will and will not go. Mm -hmm. See, me, I stay more in the turn-up twerking lane. That's my type of lane. I make the turn-up music, mm -hmm. club, club bangers, mm -hmm. make you want to get up. Yeah, yeah, How yeah, long yeah. does it take, like, as soon as you put a song out, how long did it take for it to really be a hit? I don't, I don't drop a song unless it's popping. I put it on, I drop, like, before it's out, I put a snippet on TikTok, make a challenge, and get it jumping, make everybody like, what's the song called? What's the song called? Then drop it. Like the three that you have that are hot, how long did it take for it to be viral, to to be hot? I say, like, when I, one month, I ain't going to lie. A month? Yeah, it would be viral. From the back, went viral after the third week. How out. many shares and how many views do you have on the, the highest rating one? From the back, I, 5.5 million streams Spotify wow. yeah that's my biggest song that's your biggest one yeah how'd you feel that's about cool. that I don't I wasn't expecting it I knew it was gonna go but as far as million man that's crazy man it, it's, it's it's wild it's surreal mm -hmm. it's crazy when you those numbers is ridiculous now now you know you gotta have you some merch man that's what I was gonna talk to you about. yeah so yeah I'm we could get to it up. nigga I'm, a, I'm getting in there one way or the other bro yeah I'm gonna get that little yeah. Earl and once you put it too. out on TikTok, it, everybody gonna be hitting you up like, "Hey, where can That's I get what that?" I want. And we, I'm gonna be like, at boss talk, pull it to the We store. about to talk. Mm -hmm. We about to talk and chop it up because that's that's what people don't know, man. But there's so much power, like she said, behind behind these microphones, on these social media platforms, yeah. uh, just dealing with different things where you working and dancing and doing all the things. You are the brand now. Yeah, the independent move is on the is is is, is what's up. Um, and you can make a lot go on in the, in, in the independent world, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you gotta you gotta stay on that, man. How important is God in Real this important. whole thing, man? In the beginning of my career, I was going through it like I was really going through it. I mean, he just really gave me the footsteps. He kept leading me to the right footsteps, right people to be around with the music, and yeah. Really, God important. Though. I ain't gonna lie, very it changed important. my life. For real. Hey. Yeah, because let me tell you. Everybody will have, you'll go up. Everybody always go up. But let me tell you, if, when you come down, because you can't stay up all the time. Okay. When you come down, you got to hold on to God because yeah. if not, you're going to be so depressed. There's so many people that I know that went through depression and went through self-doubt and all this other stuff because they didn't have God in their life. I believe. You understand? And how I look on life is the fact that everything happens for a reason. So when I say everything happens for a reason, there's a lesson in everything that you go through. So even whenever you come down or even whenever you're up, you have to look on the small lessons that are there because sometimes it's not always for you, it's for somebody who is around you that needs to learn that lesson. Yeah. So you always have to move in a positive manner. And that's just how I try to do, you know what I mean? So that 
whatever his intention is for me to do, that I'm doing it to the best of my ability. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So don't ever look at anything as a regret or a failure. It's a lesson. Oh, I believe. Man, that's crazy. Lesson learned. Yeah. You see what I mean? I want you to also, uh, one thing I could suggest is that some young kid, 15, 13, that want, that want to be around somebody like you, let them be around you because um, – it's good. It's good to help others, and not only that, to put others on. Yeah. Um, as you process and don't wait, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Most people wait until they like when they get. Big. No, if you see some youngster that you can help a little bit, let him tag along. If it's a cousin, friend, family member, whatever, you see what I'm saying? Because at one at some point, you got to create lanes for others so that they can go too. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, so not saying to focus totally on it, but let them hang around. Yeah. Because you never know, God will make that thing bigger. You CEO, you know what I'm saying? Little Earl, C, Earl. the CEO. You know what I'm saying? Helping the community and, and more people you can touch and reach, better off it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. So what is your, ne- what is your, what's, what's your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal, really move out of Dallas. You want to move? Yeah. Where you want to go? Deaf. Atlanta. Nah. Uh, Atlanta. That's Atlanta. Where I Atlanta. Where I nigga, want to go. Have you been? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I you, you don't want to go to Atlanta? Nah, it's baby Hollywood. Nah. You want to go I to say, Cali? I say yeah. LA. I knew he was about LA. to say it. I could see it in his eyes. I was out there a couple weeks ago. Good vibe. You like it? My son, like my other it. son, my oldest son, like LA a lot. That was my first time. I like it. That's what he said, right? Mm-hmm. When we took him out there, he's like, "Dad, I want to move out here." I'm like, "Really? Nigga, it's cold at night." <laughs> the water, no, that water is, 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 I don't know, man. You know, for me, there's no place like home, like they say on the Wizard of Oz. I love Texas, nigga. I'm cool Texas. with going places, but I'm coming home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, you gotta get out. Look, man, there's an opportunity out there. When you do leave, I think it does open big doors for you. Um, when I say that, because People, some like I always tell people, the word of God says a prophet is without honor in his own country. So I think when you do leave or if you go places and create those opportunities, those waves, it's going to be so much easier for people to embrace you. Yeah. Because here, people are like, I know him. Oh, that's little Earl. But when you go other places, they're going to be like, dang, I seen him on TikTok. That's that's that guy. Yeah, that's that boy. You see what I'm saying? That, that, yeah. I, I, that's the guy on Instagram. Well, mm-hmm. I follow him. He's ain't he somebody? But a smart thing. <laughs> but a smart <laughs> thing about what he does though, because you dance, you're being put into most of the videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people who just does the songs, the songs are there and nobody knows who Ooh. is behind them. Right. You know what I mean? But right. the song is going viral, which is always great because the money's still going in their pocket regardless. But they don't have a face to go with. The, the music exactly but because you're doing the dances you're in there as well right so that's awesome so um you said what your goal is do you have a time stamp on those goals like okay for the first year this is what i want to accomplish for the second year this is what i want to accomplish not really but i do by 25 i expect to be out of here and like in a way have a way better career no like by 25 <laughs> i expect to be gone that's good. Just that's keep up the hard work because you're young. You can you can do it. From the back, I'm looking at that. Yeah, crazy. That whole crazy, man. You you. How did you feel when YouTube the numbers start going up? It was just a feeling all over again. Not going to lie. I, I had that feeling twice. It's a good feeling. Like It ain't no feeling in the world to have a hit song, bro. You can't even really explain it. It's a good feeling, though. Yeah. It make you want to come with another one. Yeah. Keep standing look like on you neck. Look like you found your niche. Yeah. Like you, you really, you've really found uh, a mm-hmm. way uh, how to deal with the uh, the algorithm and stuff. You know what I mean? Is that. there a lot of pressure? Like you have three out of five, but like every time you make a new song, is there any pressure on you to be like, okay, this one got to be a hit. Like this got to be, you know what I mean? I just be doing me, just chilling and cooling. Really? Yeah. I When's like the next that. one coming out? Before, the, like, really, before the second week of December. I got, I'm already getting it jumping on TikTok right now. Oh, so what's it called? Bend it over. So I can find it. Yeah. On TikTok, you can go look at the videos. I okay. got 21 videos. Girls are already twerking. Song ain't even out. But I'm gonna keep pushing it, drop it until it's like at like five thousand videos. That's when I'm gonna drop the song. How often are you putting out a song? Are you planning to put out a song? I really was planning every every month. That was my plan. 
That's it. But, that's it. You doing but, it right? No, no. He said, but. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I caught that but. It, I ain't dropped a song since from the back. That was like that was three months ago. So what's what's the hold up? What, what happened? You you supposed to be grinding. <laughs> know, you said you need to keep yourself accountable to your own words. You said every month. You so right. I so know. so so what's up? I, I really been busy. Like this is my biggest song. So I ain't just ever been. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like I've been in Atlanta, LA, shooting videos in LA. So I really just got to get used to that that lifestyle. I get it. Yeah, because it's different, yeah, right? It is. And, and you like the song shows too. back to back. Going on tour next week. I, I, your manager be booking you. Yeah. Shout out to Q Taylor too. Hey man, that's dope, man. That you got a team of guys around you that's looking out for you and you looking out for yourself make sure you you paying attention to business okay yeah, they keep me on my feet i'm sure. telling you to for make sure. sure you're paying a close attention to business yeah for sure you see what i'm saying because that's important you know you need to know what's going on for sure yeah. i actually do see everything yeah yeah i mean i say that because it's just something our youth need to know you need to know you know you're not just a that's what i, I feel Lil wayne was, was was so much of an artist that he, could, he couldn't keep up with his business. He was doing so much work, so many features, so many that I, I felt like a lot of times the reason a lot of things happen in his business world the way it did is because he was so artistic. So you just got to be careful and balance. Everything has to have balance. Yeah. You see where I'm coming from? Be cautious. You oh. got to have balance. Everything can't. You got to balance life. You know what I mean? Life and everything that goes with it. So um, what? who would you like to work with if you could choose? Really, I'm not even really. If you could I pick really, anybody, who would I choose? I say the baby because he make more so my type of music. I think music. He, yeah, I like the baby too. He makes more so than my type of music. Mm -hmm. But I don't really, I don't really fiend on work with anybody, honestly, because like I'm in my own lane. Like I don't know, but the baby for sure. Who rich? Who have anybody reached out to you? Like damn, he or somebody followed you on IG? Like damn, and you're like whoa. <laughs> Nobody big, but really? other than people like Dallas people for sure, like Dallas artists, B King. You got uh, B King in Houston though, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you right. Yeah. DJ chose chose he, Houston too. Houston too. Houston. <laughs> they like what you're doing. Yeah. That's that, they've been. Well, I hadn't got B King, but I got DJ Chose been on here. You know T Cash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He reached out. Uh, Fat Pimp. Really like a lot of the Texas Fat Pimp OGs. been on here. Texas yeah. OGs types. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to keep going, man. So. I want to know your top three artists of all time that are alive, any genre. You heard us while ago. Let's Big, go. Big Yavo. Big Yavo. Yeah. That's our first one. one. I That's need to get Big one. Yavo That's on here. You get Big Yavo he on had here? a song with uh, Luce Ace. Luce Ace got yeah, locked yeah. up. Luce Ace was on here before he got locked up, though. Big Yavo. Big Yavo. Tisa Korean. Okay. Never had that one either. Yeah. Lil Wayne, yeah. And Lil Wayne. Yeah. That's dope. I like your top three. So it's uh, Big Yavo and what was that second one? Tisa Korean. Tisa Korean. Who is that one? He I don't know. He out of Houston. You know that song? Mop. Yeah, Mop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that and, song. And then the last one was... Uh, 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 what was it? Lil, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. How did they say I'm a ball? Wayne, I love I love your choices. I, I I'm from I'm I, you know I keep it southern, and anytime I'm dealing with my southern artists, um, who's you, your number one? Pimp C, you know. Who's that. your number two? <sighs> number two, man, that's not that's not gonna be. Ooh, you got me thinking. Why would you mm -hmm. do me like that? <laughs> you always ask. Number two, boss talk. Oh, but boss yeah. talk to. The, it's the truth yeah. But man Who would be my number two I mean you know um, I would probably say uh, Patti LaBelle I'm Number three uh, You don't know who that is huh? My mama listen to Patti okay. <laughs> uh, Number three Number three would be um, Hey man It's it, now you'll be putting in the, hard, you put in that position hard, now man, that you put everybody in. Yeah, number three hard, I'm scared to say somebody because I don't want to miss on, somebody. Now, number three, you know what I'm saying? Number Come three, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of great people been on my platform. It's a lot of great people that don't support it, you know, what what I do, you know, and I'm going to hit you like I would, I mean, number you know. Three. Ooh, that number three will be hard, boy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I mean, I, I love some T.I. He's stalling. Uh, number three. No, but I love some Gucci, man. 
Okay, but they're not your number three. Think. I'm trying to think. Come on now. I love, I, man, I love some, I love some these guys, man. They dope, man. I can't be out here picking. No, nah, you got it down. Just it one. Hard. I got a little running, little running. Mf, that nigga little nice. Running, I love little hard. running. Do man. Do you like how we do everybody else? Only nah, one. Oh man, I'm just trying number, to think. That's that's a hard. Number one. three. I had to get back with uh-uh, you. Uh-uh, there's no <laughs> getting back. There's no <laughs> get back. There's yeah. no get back. You already nah, gave us two, so give us that nah, number I three. I can't make that choice like that, man. That would be on, hard, bro. Yeah, no, nah, because I got too many stuff. I can't do it. You wrong. Nah. You do this to everybody that come on here. You yeah, cannot. But, but do I'm gonna not give a mind. But but uh, uh, I'm gonna go on my YouTube and I'm gonna ask. I picked th- these two people. Uh, who do y'all? Who would be y'all pop, top three artists of all time? Uh, uh, and and, and their, I'm rocking like that. That's their top three. So I'm gonna let the that's not yours. You know what I'm saying? No. What'd you think, Lil Earl? It's hard when y'all you know so many. I know a lot of people, man. Just gave you the whole top you three know, on this show right now. Nah, come on, man. You really need my top three yes. like that? Well, come on now. The third Ooh. one. You just need one more. Birdman. I fly in any weather. Oh, okay. Your boss, nigga. Okay. Birdman I'll gonna be that. in that list. Yeah, that's my guy. So um, MC, um, Gladys, Pat, my, no, Patty no, LaBelle, Patty yeah. LaBelle, and Birdman. Okay. Yeah, that, that's my, and it could change, but right now that's how I'm feeling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause Birdman is like, OG. He really like, yeah, like like when you look at him, you know, he gets so much flack, but he he's such a business mogul, and 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 I think a lot of times people don't give him the credit for the stuff that he done for the people careers that he. That he did, that he done it with. They be like, oh, he did this, he did that. But you, all these people have issues, man. Yeah. All these people trying to hold all these other guys together. These people getting millions of dollars. It's not gonna be no peaches and cream. You can go mm-hmm. set, you could set Puff Daddy down. You could set Birdman down. You could set uh, um, um, QC down with them. Uh, you could set all these people, Gucci Man down, and and everybody in their camps. Gonna, um, you know, they're gonna be complaining. Jay Z, he can be in that same seat. They all are just bossed up, and you got to realize that. And it come with it. Mm-hmm. It come with being a boss. People gonna, some people gonna love you, some people gonna hate you, and that's the part of being a boss. You see what I'm saying? Did, did you see our viral moment when we had the uh, OGs Charles up in there when Charleston and the Crypt and they walked out? Did you didn't know that was here, did you? <laughs> what, you missed that, that nigga that, head up. Was that here or Digital? Yeah, that was here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, where crazy. he thought it was? I thought it was at Digital University because I did see another Charleston White. Where he been on so many. Not like on this one. That was yeah. the first. Day. That that viral moment was the one. Yeah, the, the last that was viral the one. That was that man funny, bro. He be here a lot, but he he come through. It. We believe, he he from the south, so I rock with him. Um, so what did you think when you seen that video? You didn't even know it was here. I did. You just I ain't seen. never been here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you was time. like, but I was on the damn thing talking. All oh, right. <laughs> I don't be putting to it. So 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 like, so you're like, whoa! I brought the Crips and the Bloods down, and I organized them to have a meet, a, a sit down with around this round table, an august panel of people. Did, um, did, did they know about it, or it was just yeah, they knew about it. Yeah, they knew okay, about okay. it. We were gonna talk down and hash it out. Did, man, that's crazy. <laughs> it didn't go the way we did, planned. I, I knew it wasn't when I before I even finished the video because I know Charleston White. He's not gonna have it. <laughs> he not gonna have it. How do you feel about Charleston? Because you're a youngster. Charles, I don't got nothing against him. He just, he blunt. Very. Very blunt. Very. Most of the young people that I talk to love Charleston White. I'm not lying. And people yeah, don't do. realize I, that. I fuck with him. He I'm like, everybody young, it's the young people that, uh, every, the older dudes be mad at him. But as far as the snitching, though, with that, with him on the phone, <laughs> on the angle, nah. <laughs> He's a whole, he's a whole different he level, old school, man. Though. Yeah, he old school, but but I'm just saying he's a whole brand. Really though, he's a brand. He, I feel like he should be bigger than what he is. You think so? Would most you put def- him in a video? Most definitely. <laughs> if I have him a role in my video. Yeah, most definitely. I'm would. gonna set that up. I would for sure. Cause it's gonna blow everything. Uh, the dude, Actually, the front of back video, my manager got a role. Like I get Charleston White a road just like that for real. No cap. I'm gonna link that up. He called me earlier. I'm gonna link you up with him. So it's gonna it's gonna be dope. Everybody gonna be watching. I'm laughing they ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna definitely link you guys up because he love the youngsters, man. That's what people don't realize. That's his passion is the young kids and the young people. And he, yeah, he say crazy stuff, but I think most people's biggest issue is they look at Charleston's wrong and they don't look at their own. We all have issues, bro. Yeah. 
Everybody, everybody just some might hide theirs better than others, but there's no perfect individuals out here. Right. I'm one of the worst ones, but at the end of the day, when I'm dealing with, with Charleston and my wife know how I am or anybody even dealing with you, I just feel like God put me in your life and I can be a light that can help and hopefully somewhere we can do some positive that can help some positive change and help some people. Down the, yeah, down the road. Yeah. Everything happened for a reason. How can people get a hold of you? Instagram, man. What, what's your Instagram? L-I-L dot E-A-A-R-L. Earl with two A's. What about your TikTok? How many followers you got on there? I'm finna hit 200K. I'm actually... Hey, that nigga beat me. I got 20,000. You got to help me. I got you. I got 20,000. That's it. 23,000? 198K. Finna hit. You a beast. I'm gonna hit before 22, though. I'm gonna hit 200K before 2022. Mark my words. I said it on Boss Talk first. Hey, and you got to get that YouTube going, too, more. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, get that whole of them numbers got to go. No cap. Everything I drop, hey, man, we finna go crazy. And you need to be posting on your YouTube and pushing your YouTube and controlling your narrative. Yeah, y'all f- subscribe to my YouTube too. Lil Earl with two A's. Same man, thing everywhere. What um what what when the thing I can say is, do you think that um what do you think about just um the violence that's going on in the in the in the rap hip hop culture? Some people going to jail. Some people getting killed. How do you how do you move in a world like that? I think your music is better though because it don't yeah, even look at I, those. Narr- that's why I say it don't even look my, at those narratives. I stay in my own lane, so like I don't really, I can't I don't really. You still gotta out. be careful for sure. That's why I want to move out. That's why. But <laughs> right, you still gotta be careful because people will put you with somebody you ain't even with them. Right. That's why my circle so small. We don't even be in that type of business type stuff. We just. We we ain't no we ain't scary though. Don't try. Hey 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 hey! Whoa scary, whoa! But, we ain't looking for that energy. But we don't we don't we don't really. We you gotta be like me, man. We love everybody. You yeah. just talk like that and just go and deflect the, the hate because most of the people that I've been in the room with that was multi 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 millionaires, was no hate in the room. Mm-hmm. Everybody good vibes. Everybody was love. That's how it, it was is. big love in the room. As long as the vibe right, we right. Love good vibes, bro. So that's the whole game. Yeah. To get around those rooms where it's just love permeating the, the room instead of the hate. Right. Right? And stay in those rooms. Damn those stay other rooms, room. right? Yeah. Get so, them going in that room. So um, we want to tell you we love you, the Earl. Appreciate that. You know you family now. Yeah. You locked, locked in. in. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Locked in. Mm-hmm. Boss talk. Hey, what a boss's talk, man. Yes, sir. So, anything else for Laura? No, sir. Say, man, we love you, brother. Yes, sir. And anytime you got something new dropping, you can say, hey, e, Mr. E, I'm coming over. I'm for the drop. And, and, and I got I'm something here. I want to say. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, okay, let's get it popping. Boss talk. Hey, Girl. check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.